Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I'm speaking with Scott Sloan, who is with Titan Tire. Right. And I, what's your what's your title, Scott? Uh, I am the Ag Product Manager in Global LSW. So all new products and product design based come through me, and then obviously we have our LSW technology, and I'm I'm kind of the global coordinator of that. And we, we've got something new at the uh, National Farm Machinery Show, and something that kind of been coming for a while, and, and kind of your brainchild sounds like a, a new tire. And uh, I remember back in the days. When when the choices on small tractors were ag tires or turf tires, and then the R4 tires came in, which are skid loader type tires. Right. Now there's another option. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, uh, I deal a lot with the, the end users and the customers, and I, I take a lot of phone calls. And the, the number one, you know, as we were talking earlier, the number one call that I always got was I want to go from an ag tire to an uh, industrial tire. What do I need to do? And the problem was is you, you had to change wheels and tires. You know, that's a four grand ish. Uh, conversion and that kind of was the deal breaker and unfortunately when these guys go and buy a tractor they go out and, and purchase a tractor from a dealer they choose between an ag tire an industrial tire and a turf tire that's the three options that you get and what happens is is that day they feel that they need that ag tread and then once they start getting it into their operation they realize that ah, I need a little bit more uh, lug to void ratio or more rubber on the ground because I'm on harder surfaces more often maybe in a loader application dairy or, or whatever it may be and then that's when they start with the wheels turning that they need to change so what we did and based on those conversations is start throwing together this concept of why couldn't we come up with a design that basically melded some of those characteristics together and kind of funny the, the story of the the name R14 was when we were developing it was we take an R1 and combine it with an R4 made it R14 that was kind of our code name when we were developing it uh, back in Des Moines uh, and that it, it kind of stuck I mean that's as far as our marketing goes so we're, we're pretty in, in, ingenious on that but but what we did is we took the elements of both of those and we just mashed them together. We took some of the best elements of our premium uh, tractor tires, like the arc, lug arc on the on the shoulders, with the center element from our, our number one loader tire, and mashed those together and came up with this tire that just when you deal with that every day, and you know the guys that are in this utility compact and subcompact, they see it, they know exactly what we're going for there, and it's been a it's been a huge success and. If you walk around the show enough here, you'll see you head over to LS or Kubota, and, and those guys, they're on there now. And the tractors look really good with it, and, and they're working. Now, I want to explain one thing that a lot of people don't realize. If you have a four-wheel, and you alluded to it, yep. if you have a four-wheel drive tractor and you want to change the tires, you have to keep a certain ratio there. And and explain that. Yeah, it, it, that's called the lead lag. In, in mechanical fronts, the, the front and the rear have to work together. So, obviously, if you put a larger rear tire on that was originally on there and didn't change the front that means that the rear was trying to push for every revolution it was going to go further and it's going to push that front tire it's going to plow and it's going to plow and potentially lock up the the differential that's not good on the other hand say you put a maybe a larger tire on front you went from a 10165 to a 12165 that's kind of a common one that you get into then all of a sudden you notice that that front tire is throwing dirt and gravel well what's happening is is the rear is still going that one revolution, but now the surface area of that front tire is significantly faster, so it's actually spinning quite a bit faster. So, you know, that's less dangerous, but your your wear and tear on the tire, eventually wear and tear on the differentials. It's just you got to be very careful that whatever you take off, you want to put back on, or if you're going from the different options, to make sure that the combination that you've got is appropriate for that particular tractor and the, and the manufacturer would be able to tell you which one that is. And this new tire is going to give you more options to the guy that has ag tires and they're a little too aggressive and he wants to go to an R4 type tire. This gives him options that weren't there before. Yeah, so essentially what we did is took the agricultural nomenclature or the sizing like a 16928 uh, and developed an R14 in that. So if you've got the R1 but you want an R4, we've got a tire size that'll replace that. If you're on an R4 but want a little bit more ag, 17525 or in a, a 10165 we've got that size of tire so you can put that R14 tire on those wheels. So essentially if you want to go from one or the other, all you're having to do now is just buy the tires and that's 
pretty much what everybody wanted on that. Now the tires are out on OEM tractors. You mentioned that original equipment manufacturers have started, and I, I think you're going to see more of them because they do look good. And a lot of us, whether we like it or not, buy on looks. And then what about uh, if I wanted to order replacements for the tractor I already have? Uh, the replacements are, are out there, so any uh, Titan or Goodyear dealer are available to, to get them. Uh, potentially through like a Kubota or an LS or something, you could go through the dealership network on that. Um, but yeah, they're out there and, and uh, they're ready to go right now. Where do you see this tire going? Is this going to be what we see on almost everything at some point? Uh, you know, uh, yeah, obviously that would be nice. Uh, the guys that are in this utility compact and subcompact, you, in that market, Probably 60% go out, 65% go out industrial because, like we were talking earlier, it's it kind of looks like a tractor tire and it's close, but there are conditions that it doesn't work. And uh, the other, you know, 10% is is uh, ag, and then probably less than 5% is turf. So turf is a, a small player in that. And with that being said, if if the guy went out and bought a tractor and he put R14 on, chances are we're going to hit 95% of those customers, right? You, the guys who are turf guys know that they're turf guys. Your golf course maintenance, those things, you know, the really precision turf. You know, we were talking earlier, the, the tire itself, for an average acreage guy, is going to be soft enough, well, but very soft for that particular application. Driving across the golf green, yeah, probably not, but uh, uh, you know that's the kind of the give and take we got on that. Alrighty. Well, we wish you best of luck with this new endeavor. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been uh, it's been an exciting show here, and and a lot of interest in the in the R14. So, thank you. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd be honored. Click the Mike Face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. If you'd like to look at an online store with unique tractor items, go to my website. And here's another video you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.